Live your life not celebrating victories, but overcoming defeats. The revolution is not an apple that falls when it is ripe. You have to make it fall. The true revolutionary is guided by great feelings of love. Democracy cannot consist solely of elections that are nearly always fictitious and managed by rich landowners and professional politicians. It's a sad thing not to have friends, but it is even sadder not to have enemies. Be realistic, demand the impossible. Every person has the truth in his heart. No matter how complicated his circumstances, no matter how others look at him from the outside, and no matter how deep or shallow the truth dwells in his heart, once his heart is pieced with a crystal needle, the truth will gush forth like a geyser. To execute a man we don't need proof of his guilt. We only need proof that it's necessary to execute him. It's that simple. Every day people straighten up the hair, why not the heart? Above all, try always to be able to feel deeply any injustice committed against any person in any part of the world. It is the most beautiful quality of a revolutionary. We have no right to believe that freedom can be won without struggle. Let the world change you and you can change the world. To accomplish much you must first lose everything. If you have the capacity to tremble with indignation every time that an injustice is committed in the world, then we are comrades. Mexicans are a band of illiterate Indians. We must bear in mind that imperialism is a world system, the last stage of capitalism and it must be defeated in a world confrontation. The strategic end of this struggle should be the destruction of imperialism. Our share, the responsibility of the exploited and underdeveloped of the world, is to eliminate the foundations of imperialism, our oppressed nations, from where they extract capital, raw materials, technicians, and cheap labor and to which they export new capital instruments of domination arms and all kinds of articles, thus submerging us in an absolute dependence. Youth should learn to think and act as a mass. It is criminal to think as individuals. I don't care if I fall as long as someone else picks up my gun and keeps on shooting. The Negro has maintained his racial purity by his well-known habit of avoiding baths. Silence is argument carried out by other means. The walls of the educational system must come down. Education should not be a privilege, so the children of those who have money can study. Words without deeds are worthless. Those who kill their own children and discriminate daily against them because of the color of their skin, those who let the murderers of blacks remain free, protecting them, and furthermore punishing the black population because they demand their legitimate rights as free men, how can those who do this consider themselves guardians of freedom? One has to grow hard but without ever losing tenderness. A country that does not know how to read and write is easy to deceive. Let's be realistic. Let's do the impossible. Justice remains the tool of a few powerful interests. Legal interpretations will continue to be made to suit the convenience of the oppressor powers. The is indolent and lazy, and spends his money on frivolities, whereas the European is forward-looking, organized and intelligent. We are overcome by anguish at this illogical moment of humanity. Democracy is not compatible with financial oligarchy. The best form of saying is doing. The U.S. is the great enemy of mankind. Against those hyenas there is no option but extermination. If the nuclear missiles had remained, in Cuba, we would have fired them against the heart of the U.S. including New York City. It's not my fault if reality is Marxist. It is an illusion to think that the matter can be resolved through words. There is no other definition of socialism valid for us than that of the abolition of the exploitation of man by man. We cannot be sure of having something to live for unless we are willing to die for it. We must carry the war into every corner the enemy happens to carry it, to his home, to his centers of entertainment, a total war. It is necessary to prevent him from having a moment of peace, a quiet moment outside his barracks or even inside, we must attack him wherever he may be, make him feel like a cornered beast wherever he may move. Then his mortal fiber shall begin to decline, but we shall notice how the signs of decadence begin to disappear. I am not a liberator. Liberators do not exist. The people liberate themselves. And then many things became very clear. We learn perfectly that the life of a single human being is worth millions of times more than all the property of the richest man on earth.
our youth must always be free, discussing and exchanging ideas concerned with what is happening throughout the entire world. If you tremble with indignation at every injustice then you are a comrade of mine. Every day you have to fight so that love for humanity can be transformed into concrete deeds, into acts that set an example, that mobilize. Words that do not match deeds are not important. The merit of Marx is that he suddenly produces a qualitative change in the history of social thought. He interprets history, understands its dynamic, predicts the future, but in addition to predicting it, which would satisfy his scientific obligation, he expresses a revolutionary concept, the world must not only be interpreted, it must be transformed. Man ceases to be the slave and tool of his environment and converts himself into the architect of his own destiny. My nostrils dilate while savoring the acrid odor of gunpowder and blood. Crazy with fury I will stain my rifle red while slaughtering any surrendered enemy that falls in my hands. With the deaths of my enemies I prepare my being for the sacred fight and join the triumphant proletariat with a bestial howl. I know you are here to kill me. Shoot, coward, you are only going to kill a man. A new era will dawn in Africa when the impoverished masses of a nation rise up to rescue their right to a decent life from the hands of the ruling oligarchies. The blacks, those magnificent examples of the African race who have conserved their racial purity by a lack of affinity with washing, have seen their patch invaded by a different kind of slave, the Portuguese. The black is indolent and fanciful, he spends his money on frivolity and drink. The European comes from a tradition of working and saving which follows him to this corner of America and drives him to get ahead. Chess is an effective means to educate and train the human intellect. I will fight with all the weapons within my reach rather than let myself be nailed to a cross or whatever. How is it possible to feel nostalgia for a world I never knew? One must endure without losing tenderness. One must have a large dose of humanity, a large dose of a sense of justice and truth in order to avoid dogmatic extremes, cold scholasticism, or an isolation from the masses. We must strive every day so that this love of living humanity is transformed into actual deeds, into acts that serve as examples, as a moving force. A revolutionary must become a cold killing machine motivated by pure hate. We must create the pedagogy of the paradon, execution wall. At the risk of seeming ridiculous, let me say that the true revolutionary is guided by a great feeling of love. It is impossible to think of a genuine revolutionary lacking this quality. Many will call me an adventurer, and that I am, only one of a different sort, one of those who risks his skin to prove his truths. We must do away with all newspapers. A revolution cannot be accomplished with freedom of the press. If any person has a good word for the previous government that is good enough for me to have him shot. The Negro is indolent and a dreamer, spending his meager wage on frivolity or drink, the European has a tradition of work and saving, which has pursued him as far as this corner of America and drives him to advance himself, even independently of his own individual aspirations. I now know, by an almost fatalistic conformity with the facts, that my destiny is to travel. The ultimate and most important revolutionary aspiration, to see human beings liberated from their alienation. I am not Christ or a philanthropist, old lady, I am all the contrary of a Christ I fight for the things I believe in, with all the weapons at my disposal and try to leave the other man dead so that I don't get nailed to a cross or any other place. The world must not only be interpreted, it must be transformed. Man ceases to be the slave and tool of his environment and converts himself into the architect of his own destiny. I knew that the moment the great governing spirit strikes the blow to divide all humanity into just two opposing factions, I would be on the side of the common people.